Three tips and tricks for becoming a successful realtor. Of course, I'm gonna start it off with number one, and that's utilizing your social media. Now, you're probably sitting there saying, I may not have a big following, Mark. What should I do? You know, I don't have a lot of people who look at my posts or like my posts. Who gives a shit? You have to start somewhere. You know, our uh, social media platforms obviously have grown to where they have today, but that's because I put a lot of time and effort into it. And when I say time, we're talking like five, six hours a day for years on end. So it didn't happen overnight. And guess what? I started at zero followers. So I think it's one of the most undervalued and under, you know, understood things that you can do as a realtor. Uh, I started getting into real estate with the social media aspect back with Facebook in 2000 and let's say, I think it was like 2007. Uh, you know, I was a young pup, 21 years old, had uh, no gray hair, it was all black, but I would post my listings as albums. This is before Instagram, Twitter, and all that fun stuff. So, you know, utilizing that platform, which was free for me, I thought provided value and people used to look at me and say, why is he wasting his time doing that? Well, fast forward 14 years later, we've built a very successful and probably one of the top real estate uh, social media platforms in all of Canada. So the one thing I wanna say now with the development of social media and the multiple platforms is you have to be very consistent. Try to post every day. Don't post content for the sake of posting content, you know? Show people who you are. I think that's very important because in real estate, clients wanna understand who it is they're working with. And I think if you're just posting photos of listings, for example, or photos of yourself, it's not gonna do too much. People wanna work with people who are busy, and I think more importantly, in this whole social media talk, it has to be video. Video is a crucial part because the way I'm talking to you right now, this is something that gives the user, uh, the end user, for example, the experience of dealing with you. They look at my photo and say, well, okay, you know, you judge someone by a photo, you can't really understand it too much, but by a video, you could see right through the person, is that person being genuine or is that person full of shit? And in video, that stands out completely. So for me, I would recommend being video the number one thing that you can do with social media. Trust me, it will go a long way. And I went very deep into this one because this is the most important thing when it comes to this topic. Being a professional in any given situation. You know, with the rise of social media, you know, people are looking to capture likes, they're looking to capture followers, and sometimes they lose focus of what the plan is. You're a realtor at the end of the day. And the most important thing that you're here to do is to service your clients and to service them well. So, you know, try to dress the part, uh, be a professional in the way you speak to people. And most importantly, I think you gotta put your ego aside. Uh, sometimes I see it in this business, you know, people's ego gets the best of them. And I think it's important whether you are someone who's just starting or you are a rock star number one in your area, it's important to be very humble. Okay, uh, it's something that I think resonates well with people when they see you. And I think at the end of the day, it's something that is very overlooked. So please be a professional in this business. There's a ton of realtors out there. And I think that's one of the best ways that you can separate yourself from the crowd. Number three, be different. My God, there's like four to 6,000 thousand four six million realtors in the world. I know the Toronto Real Estate Board is approaching over 80 thousand realtors currently. So people have a pick of the litter when it comes to picking real estate agents. Why are they gonna choose you? They're gonna choose you because they like you. And again, everybody has their own version of themselves. Do not try and be somebody else because again, people will see that as fake. I think being transparent with people is very important. And ultimately, you're not looking to win everybody's business. There is so much business out there for realtors to you know, achieve and get. And I think if you just follow what works for you, that's what's gonna separate you from the com competition. And I don't like using the word competition because really there isn't competition. The competition that you should be looking at is the person you look at in the mirror. I know that's what I do. I try and keep my head straight, focus on what I'm doing. And I think 16 years into the business, it served me well. So be authentic, be you, be different, and it'll all work out. 
As always, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you'd like more tips and tricks on real estate, you know what to do. Follow us on all of our social media platforms. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll continue making these videos and I hope you enjoyed it.